Hi. Um, it's May Day, um, May 1st, and um, there's been um, my pen pal's daughter, one of my pen pals, and pen pal with a brother and sister, and um, the sister, her daughter has um, a very um, difficult to beat, but beatable cancer, uh, breast cancer, and um, they've just arrived from Hong Kong um, to San Francisco for treatment, which there's a center there that um, is uh, world leading in this particular um, breast cancer. It's called triple negative. Um, so it's a tough one, but it, um, as she said, she she is the American version of her backside. Instead of the British R, she used what we use. <laughs> she said she's going to kick its backside. And um, she's going to, because she's a, a lovely positive force and um, strong, like her mother and her uncle. And um, so, and she's got a lovely husband. So they've got they've secured housing for at least the next three months. Um, it's going to be horrifically expensive, but um, anything I can do to help, um, I I will. Um, but um, something else has happened. Um, I told you I'd finish the first big project since my husband died, and um, I think he'd be proud of it. Um, the phone rang and there was a lovely English woman on the end of the line and I assumed it was the customer because she's English and um, I said, well her name happens to be Ingrid, and I said, hello Ingrid, and it was my pen pal. I, we've never spoken, we've written for years. Um, so there was a little silence, and then there was laughter, and then we just talked like old friends, because writing can do that. So she's lovely, and um, she's worried, and um, but it's going to work out. Well, yesterday, um, the jeweler came by who had found my... Um, my deceased husband's mother's earring she lost on the day of his um, memorial. He had spotted it in the gravel drive and it had been smushed. And he picked it up and he handed it to me and he said, you know, this can be fixed. So as it turned out, it was, because um, I received a call the morning after the memorial um, asking if I had found an earring from my mother-in-law. And um, I said no, but then we found it, and it, it's amazing. I want to show you. So let's see if we can see this. I'll put on some more lights. So right down here, this. These were smushed, and um, the stone was cracked in the one that had laid in the driveway. And the, the, the old stones are here, and the new ones are here. And Camilla, my mother-in-law, had, she had bought this with the first little bit of money she had earned as a young adult for her mother, um, Mary Jean, who, um, was John's grandmother, and I, I was fortunate to know her and love her, and we were with her through her end of her life, as well as her husband. And um, she had always assumed they were um, amethyst and gold, and some white gold. Well, they're gold and white gold, but they were cut glass, and so now, jeweler replaced them with 
amethyst. So now they're they actually the glass was pretty good, but this it just sparkles a lot better. It's very hard to see. But remember she never got her ears pierced, only the clamp on or these ones with the little screws on the back. So I'm gonna go surprise her with that today. And um, since it's, it's May Day, some flowers from the garden, Pacific dogwood, um, some laurel that's blooming that smells really lovely. There's some lilac in there. And then um, we call this snowball. I don't know what else it's called elsewhere in the world. Viburnum. I think, I think it's, I think maybe all of them. Are, I think there's several flowers that are called viburnum. But then there's this. My mother-in-law, I had always wanted one of these pictures. One day, she had managed to get all the children cleaned up and sitting still for one picture. And um, the little boy in the middle, that's my Johnny. And beside him is his brother, Jimmy. And um, beside him on the other side is his sister, Susie. And all the way on the other end is his sister, Sally. And um, he loves them all, and I love them all. So, but look how cute. So, it, it makes me sad, but happy at the same time. I'm still really, really sad. And I always will be. But, um, as I said, you can't replace people, but... Yeah, you can you can repair precious things that got ran over and lost. But um, I hope it makes my mother-in-law Camilla happy. So that's where I'm off to. I'm gonna take this this bouquet here. I don't know if you see it. Um, and um, the the earrings and um, then I gotta come back up and I gotta do some um, yard work and then get to work in the studio. So um, I miss you, Johnny. I love you so very, very much. I I miss you so very much. Please watch over our friends um, and take care of their children. I love you, and I miss you. May God bless you all.